Amac on the mix. Ugh. Yo, what up? It's your girl Amac back with another quick tip. And today I want to talk about a tool in Pro Tools called Tab to Transient. And we're going to talk about specifically using it when you bring in an MP3 two track to cut vocals on top of. When MP3s are bounced out, they move off grid slightly. And we want to make sure that everything is always on the grid before we start recording. So we're going to bring a beat in and make sure you get the tempo, which I've already done. This beat is 82. And the first thing we need to do is look for a transient. And what a transient is, is just the attack of any instrument. But in this case, we're really gonna wanna look for kicks or snares because they have really large transients, really large attacks. And when I look at this two track, I can tell in the beginning here that these are all ambient sounds um, and that the drums start here. As you you know move forward in recording yourself or other people, it will get easier for you to read the waveforms as well. So I'm gonna click right here where the drums start and I'm gonna zoom really far in. And as you can see, here's my grid line and here is my first transient and it's not on the grid. So how do we get it there? We're gonna use tab to transient. We're gonna go up here. This is where tab to transient is located. We're gonna make sure it's turned on, which mine is. We're gonna go back down here, make sure the cursor is in front of the transient and then we're going to hit tab. And as you can see, it went directly to this first transient. We're gonna hit B for break, which splits the audio. And we're gonna make sure we're in grid mode because we're putting things on grid. Uh, and then we're gonna grab this audio and pull it back. So now your transient is right on the one. I'm gonna zoom out and I'm going to drag the rest of my waveform back so everything will be in line with each other. And then the last step is to check that all the transients moving forward from where you were are also on the grid to make sure that you do actually have the right tempo of the song. So I'm gonna zoom in right here, transient on the one, and then I'm gonna zoom in right over here, transients on the one, and that's how you use tab to transient to make sure that your MP3 two tracks line up on the grid. And that's all I got for y'all today. Peace.